when we think of irrigation management, we focus really strongly on what's happening at the top end of our paddock, on making sure that we get enough water into the block, that we've got the right schedule, that we're not putting on too much water or too little water. However, this time of year in the summer, the fallow periods are a really good time to actually look at what's happening at the other end of the block and in having a look at what's happening with our drainage. For example, we can see this block doesn't drain particularly well. There's no cane growth at the end of the block. We've got quite a bad weed problem. And we've also got some denitrification and yellowing of our cane because of the, the lack of fertiliser. We want to make sure our drainage is good so that we don't have those problems. So we get good cane growth and reduced weeds. Uh, we make use of the fertiliser we've applied. Um, and also, if the block drains well, we can get in and do our other uh, farming operations like our fertilising, spraying, even towards the end of the year when we start looking at harvesting. You don't want blocks that hold water. The ways we could improve drainage, in a block like this that's got standing cane, it may be we can only work on the actual field drain or the end of the field drain. Possibly just cleaning it out, changing the angle will help the drains um, flow water better. Fallow blocks, we could look at laser levelling if there's low spots throughout the block. Or in some situations we might have to look at subsurface drains, particularly where you get seepage patches at the bottom of hills in, or those sort of areas. The thing with drainage is it's really specialised. If you think you've got a drainage problem, I'd suggest you talk to your productivity advisor and get some advice on what will be the best thing to do on your farm. Mm -hmm.